So in this video, I'm going to perform another one-tailed hypothesis test. And as it says, I'm going to go through this example a little bit faster. So if you haven't seen the, the, the long example where I go through everything in detail, definitely look at, this, at that one first. But this one, again, it's just going to be an extension of that. And again, it's going to show you that if you have all the information, there's really not too much to do. There's not a lot of work to do. Okay, so the steps and the setup will be the same, so I'm not going to go through all of that again, but let's go ahead and jump into our, our example. So the idea in this example is previously uh, a researcher had had some, had some information based around obesity levels, and we want to use that information that we knew previously, and we want to compare our new data to see if that still holds true or not. That's the general idea in this question. Okay, so suppose a study is underway to learn about BMI, which is the body mass index, in a particular state. And we're looking at women aged 35 to 55, and suppose that previously they had a mean BMI of 25.18, and we had a known standard deviation of 5.2 across that state. So that's the information that we had previously. So the idea is we're going to go out there and collect some data and from that data, we're going to try to make a, a guess. We're going to kind of think, well, you know, does this old BMI, uh, does that still hold true? Or is the, is, is the BMI going up? Which would maybe, you know, cause us to think, well, maybe the levels of obesity are also going to increase. So again, that's the general idea. So suppose we go out there and we collect 100 data points about the uh, BMI of these women from ages 35 to 55. So I collect 100 data points about BMI, and we get the following information. Okay, so again, the idea is that a researcher s suspects women from the state in question actually have a larger BMI than what we uh, had previously, again, which raises concerns about obesity. Now, suppose that we compute our our average from our 100 data points to be 26.90. So that's our sample BMI. So what can we conclude at the level of significance alpha equals 0 0.02? So again, we know our standard deviation. We have our value of n. So our null hypothesis in this case is going to be that the mean is still equal to 25.18, or it's less than that. So the idea is that the, the BMI is unchanged. Okay, that's going to be our null hypothesis. And our alternative hypothesis is that the mean is actually larger than 25.18. So the, the BMI is actually going up. That's going to be our alternative hypothesis. So really all we have to do in this case is compute our test statistic using our given information. So this is really the only work. So our test statistic, Z star, is going to be equal to our computed average, which was 26.90. Our previous average was 25.18. We divide that by the known standard deviation, which is 5.2. And again, we divide that by the square root of 100, which was our sample size. And I got this to be equal to, or roughly equal to, 3.308. So that's going to be our test statistic. And again, what do we do with that? We just use our decision rule. So the idea is, if our p-value is less than or equal to the level of significance, we reject the null hypothesis. And if not, we don't reject it. Well, alpha was equal to 0 0.02. That was the level of significant, significance that we picked. Now, all we have to do is look at this p-value. Oh, so that's a horrible little... Uh, let me try to make my picture a little better here. So again, all we have to do is we look at that value of our test statistic, 3.308. So 3.308, and again, all I'm doing is I'm using a table, and I'm looking at the area underneath this tail, and it turns out that this area, again, from a table, that's going to be the p-value, 
And if you look this value up in a table, I got this to be equal to 0 0.0005. Okay, so that value is very small. And now what we do is we just look at this p-value, and since it's really small, that was less than our uh, value of alpha, we simply reject the null hypothesis. So we conclude, in fact, we conclude that the BMI has increased. That's the conclusion we come to. So again, all we do, pick our level of significance, we just compute our test statistic, and the idea is the test statistic is just too large, 3.308. The tail uh, probability associated with that is 0 0.005, which is less than alpha. So again, we reject our null hypothesis, and uh, we therefore accept the alternative hypothesis. And again, we would conclude that the BMI in that state has in fact increased.